Chris, and I'm gonna use my new X-Tool 20 watt blue laser to try to cut some birthday presents out for my daughter. I'm gonna use leather to make a, a hair barrette and luggage tags. So let me show you what I did. I picked up a nice 12 by 12 inch piece of dark leather. It's about two millimeters thick. It's nice top grain. I also picked up some luggage tags to try to engrave. I'm using my 20 watt blue X-Tool laser and I'm using it to cut leather. You definitely want to have an enclosure and an output fan because leather really stinks when you when you cut it and etch it. I'm also using air assist to keep the nozzle and the lens clean. My daughter's birthday is coming up and she loves giraffes so I'm making a hair barrette for her out of leather and I've got it set so I've got the text here I've got the artwork of the giraffe and I've got the red is cutting the outside and the blue is cutting the holes out you want to make sure that you do all the text and the imaging before you do the cut the first thing I did with this uh, 12 by 12 inch leather uh, it's about almost 1.8 millimeters thick and it's top grain leather I, um, I did a light burn uh, speed versus power test to see kind of what settings to use. You can see the ones down here actually cut through in a single pass. And then you can get sort of different shades here. After I did the material test and looked at the results, I decided to do the labels at 80 millimeters per second at 80% power. I did the image here at 100 millimeters per second at 60% power. And then I did the two cuts at uh, 10 millimeters per second at 100% power and I did two runs on each one. I probably didn't need to, but I just wanted to make sure it went all the way through. I had problems with the laser shield here catching on the leather after it's been cut. And so what I did is I raised it up by adjusting the height here of the focus to just under six millimeters. Then I lifted the whole laser up on the other side here using that locking screw and that way the laser sits up higher it doesn't have as good of um, air gap here but it's now high enough to go over my magnets that I use to hold the leather down the nice thing about this honeycomb grid is that magnets stick to it and I really like these little magnets I found I'll put a link in the description but they're great for holding paper and things down so it doesn't move I've got the area set up and the laser in the top left corner. And I'm gonna do a frame just to make sure that the artwork, artwork will fit inside, which it does. It's finished. <clears throat> cut all the way through here. So I can push the laser out of the way and came right out. Now it looks kind of dark here but let me show you a trick I've learned. So it looks pretty dark right now and that's because of the soot that's on here and I found if you just take some blue painters tape and cover it over and rub it really hard it will actually pick up all the soot and you can do it more than once but it's amazing the difference when you pull this off so that's how much stuff came off here you can do it several times and I also do the edges here to make sure you get the dirt off the edges. And you can do this a couple of times until the tape comes off clean. But it looks a lot better now. I used a piece of 3 16th inch dowel to make the hairpin and I just sharpened it in my pencil sharpener 
Then I cut them down to six inches and I stained and painted some to try different effects. Here Sue is modeling the barrette. I decided to make some luggage tags too. The material is thinner and it's a lighter brown leather so I had to adjust the uh, text power because otherwise it would cut right through. Well, I'm really happy how the projects turned out. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.